a new video in this video i'm going to be explaining how i get rid of scratches on my canvas backdrop so basically taking this image from here to here and doing it all in capture one okay so the reason why i try to do this in capture one or why i'm not doing this in photoshop is that um i found that especially for this particular canvas uh, when i try to edit in photoshop i kind of lose the essence of the backdrop so using clone stamp or using like the patch tool sometimes it gets rid of the the wanted texture as well which is not something that is nice at all so um, in capture one i was able to find a tool that works just fine and perfectly for helping me to clean out the scratches in this backdrop i've had this backdrop for such a long time and i really love it but the scratches always puts me off and kind of prevents me from using it but um, since I found this hack I've been able to use this backdrop um, more often okay so um, before we move on I just explained that before I collaborated this picture using my um, capture one style pack if you want to download that it's pretty affordable you can click the link in the description below so let's just get straight into the video now the first thing you want to do is create a new layer and you can create a new layer or create a new healing layer or heal layer so you do that by coming to this add button here and pressing the downward arrow and go to new heal layer and then once you're on your heal layer you can then press q now q is for the healing tool or you can come up here and click on draw healing mask and with the draw healing mask, you can just zoom into your picture and with Q, you can just click and drag on like a line, for example. So something like that, and then it takes it up. It's really as simple as that. Um, it is not a, it's not the fastest way to get rid of texture. I have to be honest, but for me, I feel like it's the best way that I have found so far because the results are really good. So you basically just want to use this and go over you know the unwanted textures on your canvas and just do it one after the other the reason why i like it is that it's really really good in replacing um, where you have tried to cover up with very very good texture as well um, you can also do things like um, if you don't like where capture one decided to replace with you can grab these parts and then just replace it with somewhere else so that's another hack that um, that the tool is really good for so you just want to go over your entire image like this you can zoom out so you can see better and you can increase and reduce the brush size um, based on what you want my advice would be to use a smaller brush um, i think it's worth it to just spend some time here i know that we're in the era of doing everything with ai and doing everything really fast but so far i haven't found anything that cleans um scratches on a textured backdrop like using this tool in capture one so um, i will just take my time with it and and do it so for those of you that have old backdrops that are kind of scratched up and you have you aren't using them even though you really love them because they are really scratched this might be a potential solution for you to to try and you know be able to use those backdrops again um, i was also going to mention that you can use this not just for backdrops but it also works for like blemishes you could use it to take out pimples uh, it's a really really good tool and it's very underrated i think so if i would do something let me just zoom into her face quickly and i can try to use it to reduce the size and i'm just going to try to use it to remove a couple of blemishes from her face so let's do that right there let's do this as well so like i said you can always replace where it did and boom so it's also a good tool for that if you want to use it to to do that um so we'll just carry on with the backdrop so we can quickly finish this um the other thing i would say is that if for any reason maybe you've done so many um fixes and you have you know your backdrop is just covered with all of these you know arrows and little circles that you can't really see your backdrop as much again you can always create a new heel layer and then just start on a new slate entirely so that's an option for you as well so we're just going to go over some of it and pretty much that's how i was able to clean up this backdrop and this is the final image here that we got so you can see the backdrop the texture in the backdrop is preserved the natural vignette as the backdrop has is preserved as well and 
that is why i absolutely love this tool um, please let me know in the comment section below if this is something you have used before if this is something you'd like to try out and uh, please share the video like and comment and i can't wait to see you in the next one hope you enjoyed today's video and please don't forget if you need the presets or the styles that i use to edit these photos click the link in my description below and you can get them thank you guys cheers